Hello everyone. Hey, of course by now you know that yes, football is back. Yes it is. And we're all excited to know that America's game is finally right back on. Hello folks, this is Barry Barnes, founder and CEO of LockerDashSport.com and your host here at Locker Talk Podcast. Yes, we're about to get right into some good stuff about the NFL season regarding the undrafted players. Now folks, we're not trying to necessarily compete with all those big boys that's out there with all these great, great new shows. Wait till they get a load of me. Nah, we ain't trying to do that. All do is just add to all the goodness of the NFL, but only talk about the undrafted players. And I have some great stats talking about the undrafted players heading into the 2023 season. Now, last year, last year, at the start of the season, there were 741 undrafted players on rosters, whether they were starters, whether they was on practice squad or on the IR, they were still considered as undrafted players that made NFL rosters. But this year took a little hit, about less than 117 players was missing from that total from last year. So yeah, 624 undrafted players are in the NFL to start week one of the season. So yes, that's 117 players less than from last year, which is okay. Not surprised about that number being a little less, only because now with the XFL, the USFL, these two um, spring league ball um, leagues is doing their service for these players to put some film on tape. So several undrafted rookie free agents didn't get signed or probably did not make the rosters because from the spring leagues, these two spring leagues is doing very, very well. And also the CFL, players that did not have tape a year ago or probably even two years ago, have tape now and show what they can do on a professional level. So that kind of hindered some of the rookie undrafted free agents to make NFL rosters, but that's okay. Because just like some of those players that did not make it a year ago or even two years ago that's in the league now, the rookie undrafted free agent class this year that did not sign, did not make it, all they're going to do is do the same thing. Go to one of these spring leagues, get some film on tape, better their game, their skill set. And the next thing you know, we'll be calling out some other names to recognize some other undrafted players. So it's not too much of a bad thing because I think the sport of football is in this best best time that it has ever been before but also it's also a time where the NFL scouts and teams gonna be less tolerant towards certain players because they have other outlets of getting better players in the league so that's why there's such a, such a big hit and such a big drop now to move on to some other great stats with regarding the undrafted players for the 2023 season okay the Tennessee Titans actually has the most undrafted starters in the NFL with nine. And before I even get into this, the starter part, out of the, the 624 undrafted players, 116 of those guys are starters. Yes, 116 are starters. So way to go to be undrafted players to make the starting lineup for an NFL team. That's a huge, huge deal, if you know what I mean. Yes, yes, now let's get into some more good stuff about this. Yes, the Tennessee Titans have the most starters with nine, and they also have the most undrafted players on their roster with 31. And the Las Vegas Raiders just came in just one player short with 30 undrafted players on their roster. Now, also with the Raiders, they have the most veteran undrafted players with 25 on their roster with veterans. Yes, and when we talk about veterans, you cannot not talk about the rookies. When it comes down to the rookies, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have the most rookie undrafted free agents with 13 on their roster. Now, some other cool things about this breakdown with undrafted players, the Miami Dolphins actually have the most running backs with four four undrafted players on their roster, four running backs, and then the Indianapolis Colts, they have, as far as the defensive backs, they actually have nine, nine defensive backs on their roster who are DBs. So that really shows, even down to the great Kenny Moore, solid players on that, on that squad, and we know that the Indianapolis Colts defense and their secondary is pretty good, and it is made up of what? Yes, you guessed it, undrafted players. And when we talk about the rookies in total, there are 186 undrafted rookies 
on NFL rosters. So yes, out of the 624 players, 186 are rookies. So it's a good start for us with the rookie undrafted class for the 2023 campaign.